Ten Commandments going across the back of it. And so at that point, I started asking the Lord, I said, what's the, what's the deal with the PG cruisers? And he didn't answer me. The next day, I go to church, and I get there early, and there's one other sister already there, and she's just backed into a parking spot. And so I just pulled up next to her and rolled down the driver's window, and she rolled down her window, and we started talking. And I didn't say anything about nothing about my car, about Buddy Gary, and nothing about that. And all of a sudden, just out of the blue, she goes, what kind of car is that? I said, it's a Chrysler PT Cruiser. And this is the exact words that came out of her mouth. She goes, cry, or get it. And I just died laughing. It was so fun. And so I had called Brother Gary up and tell him what had just happened. And he goes, oh, man, I would have never thought about that. And, and it's just been so funny because since then, I've run into two other women that have Chrysler PT Cruisers. And both of these women received their PT Cruisers for free. God gave them PT Cruisers. They both prayed about it, and God delivered a PT Cruiser to both of these women for free. And through the ministry that I do with the uh, Jesus T-shirts, I actually met those two women, you know, personally, out here on the road, giving away T-shirts. And so it's just amazing how much God uses these T-shirts to open doors to be able to witness to people, to hear their testimonies. I mean, it's just it's just open a whole other avenue of being a witness for Christ. And so it's, it's something that I would highly encourage other people to think about, you know? Think about, uh, you know, since I've been wearing these shirts, uh, the Lord has put me in touch with people that uh, have had acronyms for what the name Jesus means. And then through that, he's also shared different acronyms about what Jesus means. And he's shared acronyms about the, the name Lord and, and God. And, and I'll give you an example. The first time I asked Lord, I said, what does what is the, the, the word God mean? I mean, it's got to have some sort of meaning to it. And he told me it means good old dad. And so I made a huge church that had God running horizontal. And then vertically coming off of each letter, it's good old dad. Well, one day I'm out doing some street ministry, and I run into a pastor who was out there doing street ministry too. And uh, he comes over, he's talking to me, and I ask him if he knew what God meant. And uh, I shared that with him and gave him a shirt because I had something made up at the time. So he asked me, he says, well, you know what Jesus means? And I said, well, I know one person of it, but go ahead, what's God? Well, he starts breaking it down, starting with the J. It means it justifies every sinner unto salvation. And I'm like, wow. Man, that's awesome. And so I put that on shirts, too. And just passed them out whenever I got them. Uh, later on, the Lord shared another uh, acronym with me about what Jesus means. Uh, told me it means he is the joy everyone sees us share. And so he just keeps giving me new stuff all the time, and as he gives me new stuff, I just put it on shirts and um, start giving them away again. You know, it's just a, a way to share the gospel, uh, share deeper meanings of what different things mean. Uh, when he shared with me what the Lord means, I mean, that one sort of set me back a little bit because uh, to me that was really, really deep. Uh, the word Lord, he told me it means leader of righteous dominion. And, you know, to me that's just very deep. I mean, you know, we, we say these words all the time. We say God, we say Jesus, we say the Lord, we say all these things, but do we really know what they mean? The depth of what they're really saying through those words. The 
because just the words in themselves being broken down in such a way is such a powerful witness to get a person to understand who it is you're really talking about. I mean, he is the leader of a righteous dominion. He is the one that justifies every sinner unto salvation. And, you know, for me personally, he, he's given me my own personal little version of Jesus. Uh, yeah, my name's Jay. Uh, he gave me one for myself. Jay enjoys safety under Savior. Okay. And so, you know, with what he's doing with me, it, I would encourage everybody, dig in, work on that close relationship with Christ to where it's not just me sharing these fun testimonies, but it's everybody else sharing them too. Because God loves to have fun with his children. And if you'll just acknowledge him as king of kings and lord of lords and humble yourself in his sight, he's going to take you on a journey that you are just going to be thrilled with it. You're going to experience more fun than you could ever imagine with anything that you could possess of this earth. Because he has something better way better. Uh, you mentioned um, all along the way with all those acronyms and everything else, to me that was just God giving you confirmation that you're doing the right thing all the way through. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just you know, confirmation of who he is and, and, and what he does. Uh, I mean, through that name, you know, another acronym of uh, Actually, this is the one that I got years ago from somebody else. Uh, taking the J-E, that was Stanford Jehovah, and then you come vertical with the S, that's saves, and then the U.S. is us. Jehovah saves us. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's, it's, it's broken down in so many different ways. You know, it's just incredible how God uses words. You know, I, I use the, those acronyms to witness to people out here on the road all the time. Right. And some of those famous stuff talk about the shirt, and I'll say, hey, you know what Jesus means? And that just starts a whole conversation. I share all those acronyms with them. And, you know, there's there's lots more. Uh, run into a person that uh, I was sharing acronyms with them, and say, uh, well, do you know what joy means? I'm like, no, go ahead. And they said, Jesus first, others second, and you last. Uh, in church one day they were talking about what grace means God's riches at Christ's Christ expense. expense now all these these acronyms that he gives them to me or, or I get them from somebody else like I said I put them on a shirt pass them out and you know, he shares that message with other people right and, and you're, you're just getting the word out there a thought comes to mind, you know, you mentioned about the, the two women that uh, prayed about it and they got a free PT Cruiser. Um, uh, yeah, the, the first woman I ran into, I'd given away some shirts like a year earlier. And at one point, the Lord had me grow my hair out real long uh, to where I looked like the pictures of what, you just, what people think Jesus looks like and had me grow a beard. And I had went through this truck stop and I'd given away a couple of shirts to a woman that worked there. Actually, it's two women that worked there. But I'd given them to the one woman. Uh, she was going to give the other girl one of them. A year later, I come back in there and I had my hair short again and, and I didn't have a beard at all. And I had my Jesus as Lord jacket on and I go walking by the cash register and this woman says, That's right! So I stopped and started talking to her. And she goes, I got a Jesus shirt that says, Thank you, thank you, thank you, all over the night. And I said, well, I gave that to you. She says, you did? I said, yeah, it looked a little different last time I was in here. And uh, in the state of Florida, now they let you keep your old driver's license. So I pulled out my old driver's license and showed it to her. She goes, oh, wow, that was you. And so anyway, I started sharing with her testimonies of uh, going to Israel 
because uh, three years ago we were told me to go to Israel, and so I went over there for 36 days, which was uh, as a whole other testimony all by itself. But uh, anyway, I uh, shared pictures with her of my car and shared with her about the ministry that I do, and she says, well, you remember you gave me another T-shirt? And I said, honestly, until you told me what that one said, I didn't even remember giving you that one because I've given away so many of them, I don't know who I've given them to. And she says, well, you did. You gave me two, one for another sister that works there. She says, uh, you need to hear her testimony. I'm like, okay. So she takes me back and introduces me to her. And she, I shared with her my car and that whole testimony. And then she starts telling me her testimony. She says she went to Don Strango, but fell into such bad mechanical shape that she was unable to fix it anymore. And so she said one day this Chrysler dealer calls her up and says, uh, hey, we got a car for you down here. You need to come check it out. And she says, you don't have a car for me. I don't have money for a car. Oh, no, no, no. You need to come down here and check out this car. We got a car for you. No, I told you I don't have no money for a car. Well, they kept insisting, she kept insisting, finally they just tell her, hey, somebody came in here, paid cash for a brand new Chrysler BT Cruiser, and told us to call you and tell you it's a gift from God. Hmm. So she got a free BT Cruiser as a gift from God. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess a God made an official car. Yeah, it's not that way. It must be a I'm at a truck stop up in Indiana. And I'm just sitting there eating breakfast. All of a sudden, an elderly woman taps me on the shoulder. And she said, I've been sitting back over there with three other women, and I was sitting by the window, and I just I had to get over here and read the back of your shirt. She says, you mind if I read the back of your shirt? I said, no, man, that's why I wear these things. So she reads it, and she said, oh, man, it's so nice. Can I sit with you? I said, yeah, go ahead. So she sat down, and I started sharing with her about my car and the testimony about shirts and everything. And she goes, well, I've got a PT cruiser. And then she says, I prayed about it for a week. And God told me to go to this car dealer and tell them that God said that they're supposed to give her that car so <laughs> out there. And so she was obedient to what God told her to do. And she goes to this car lot and says, hey, y'all, God says y'all going to give me that car out there. And, she's, and they're going, oh, well, now we'll sell you that car. She says, no, God says you're going to give it to me. And they're like, no, we'll sell you the car. And she kept insisting, no, God says you're going to give it to me. They finally just gave her the car. <laughs> and her PG cruiser was purple. So I went out to my truck and got her a purple Jesus shirt to go with her purple Jesus truck. <laughs> wow. So it's, it's been pretty, pretty incredible. Uh, Brother Gary has seen a few other PT cruisers running around the country and all his adventures out. Now, Brother Gary is the other guy with the other PT cruiser with Jesus all over his. He's seen a few more running around the country. This guy, Jesus, all over him. Uh, he personally, the only ones that I've seen is mine and his. Uh, he's got uh, three of them himself now because uh, he likes them so much. He just keeps buying another one, and he'll go all over. All of and uh, put it out there too. Now, I've actually got pictures of mine and his on my uh, Facebook page if that's something you want me to share that people want to just go and look at it and you can look at all the different um, phrases and messages that God has had me put on shirts because it, it's constantly changing you know giving me a, a new message you know that's corresponding with what's going on uh, a lot of time whenever he gives me a new message I will actually be wearing that shirt and go into a church service and the pastor will actually be preaching from what is on the back of my shirt. <laughs> um, and it's just incredible it happens all the time. Uh, one day I was, I uh, made us a church that uh, on the back it said, um, man can only put a band-aid on your wounds. 
God is the healer. Stop at a truck stop.